Welcome to Davy Dave's Take. Today we are talking about Monkey Man, the new film directed by Dev Patel. So Monkey Man stars Dev Patel as this low-end fighter that's actually very good at fighting, and he wants revenge, and it's simple as that. I've always liked Dev Patel ever since I saw Slumdog Millionaire, and I'm always impressed that his career just didn't fall apart after he took that role in that abomination, piece of shit, last airbender live action film. And look at him now, he's directing his own film, and not just any film, he's directing an action film that I've heard has had the same type of praise as John Wick. So your first time ever directing, that's pretty impressive. So how was Monkey Man? I can see those comparisons because I did have a good time with this film. There are some really impressive action sequences in Monkey Man. There are a lot of sequences here that are in camera, wide shot, hand-to-hand -hand combat, that was really fucking impressive and it was just awesome. I would say the last third of the movie is that action that you come for, that super violent and bloody and just over the top action that made my crowd go crazy. And like I said before, this is Dev Patel's first film that he's directing. So him pulling off these sequences that are just bare knuckle, hand to hand, that just brutal, you can really feel the punches is really cool. Also, Dev Patel as Monkey Man in the film, he does a great job. There's a lot of physical stuff to his character that you'd obviously expect, but he has a great performance here. There's a lot of shit that Monkey Man goes through, and I think he really pulls it off. And I really like the backstory we get here with this character. You understand where he's at, why he wants revenge, why he's doing the things that he does. It really progresses well throughout the film. And it was nice that everything wasn't given to us all at once. There were breadcrumbs throughout the film, and it made it more interesting. And it felt like the film was shot really well. It wasn't just the action sequences that are pulled off. There are a lot of shots here that really elevate the experience. And for a first time director, like I've been saying, it is super impressive to see. There's also this simplicity to this movie that makes it a lot more fun, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like your typical action movie. It feels unique, but at the same time, it's not trying to be this bigger thing, this more complicated thing. It understands this is a revenge tale, with someone behind the camera that really loves action and really knows how to do action as well. The film understands what it needs to be. It's not trying to be something that it's not, and I applaud it for that. But I guess I was a little disappointed with Monkey Man, and I think that's because my expectations were a little too high. That's why I try and avoid any sort of gossip about a film that's coming out, but Monkey Man, I heard, is supposed to be like the greatest action film in the last like 10 years. I definitely think this is way better than what we typically see. This is definitely one of the more elevated action films I've seen lately. But I think there are flashes here where you can tell that this is Dev Patel's first time directing because the action here, there are parts of it that I absolutely love. It's my favorite type of action where it's all in camera and everything like that. But then there are times throughout the film that some sequences are combined with a bunch of shaky cam and quick edits, and I absolutely hate action sequences like that. So it's weird to say that Monkey Man has some of my favorite type of action, but also some of my least favorite type of action. And I would say it's like a small part of the film. It's not like a lot of the action is like that, but there are times where it feels distracting because it feels like it's out of place from all the other action in the film. Like there's a car chase sequence in here that I actually thought was pretty terrible. There's a lot of quick edits, a lot of quick shots, shaky cam, it just gave me a migraine. But like 10 minutes before that, there was this awesome hand-to-hand -hand combat fist fight in a bathroom that reminded me of the Mission Impossible Fallout bathroom fight. So the film could feel a little inconsistent like that. Also, the villains I thought were pretty weak. They are fucking assholes. They do horrific things. And you understand why Monkey Man wants to kill them. But I don't know. Anytime they're on screen, it was kind of boring. And there are some parts about them, I guess, were kind of interesting because they influence people. But overall, they just felt like the typical villain you would get in an action movie like this. Also, I feel like the film has some pacing issues because it does feel like it drags a little bit, which is surprising in a big action movie where Monkey Man is just killing a bunch of fucking people. But I got to say, once we get into that action that people are going to go see this movie for... It is really impressive. It is so much fun. It is fucking crazy. Like there's some kills in here where my theater was just cheering and applauding, specifically one where he has to kill someone with a knife with his teeth. All that is super fun. It just takes some time to get to those points. And like I said, sometimes the action can feel a little inconsistent, but overall, this is an extremely impressive directorial debut by Dev Patel. I'm gonna give Monkey Man 7.5 Davy Daves. Yeah, I thought this film was pretty solid. If you're a big fan of those John Wick films, there are definitely parts in here that will remind you of those films. I think you'll have a great time. So, Monkey Man, let me know what you guys thought of it once you've seen it. I'm curious to hear. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Click here to see more of Dave Dave's Takes.